Hello everyone, it's Luca Bazooka here, and today I have some bad and sad news for you. Uh, yesterday, I guess, um, the 3.66 firmware for PlayStation 3 was released, and um, it's not mandatory, so you have to update to be able to play it online. And as you maybe can see right now, I'm signing in, and you get this notice, a system software update is recured, do you want to update now? No, and you can't sign in. So, before I start with the how to bypass tutorial, I would like to show you that I'm not, that I haven't updated. Here we have it, the version 3.66 firmware. And to show you that I'm on a later firmware, 3.61. Um, well, it's as simple as the um, earlier tutorial I made on how to bypass. You go to Internet Connection Settings. Click OK. You choose custom, wired connection or wireless. That's your decision. Then you find your um, Wi-Fi. I choose mine. Um, just let me do this. It's not gonna take too long. That automatic. Do not set. And on the next settings, you choose manual. As the early tutorial. You're gonna first um, type in 67, and here you're gonna type in 202. Um, since you now know the whole tutorial, I guess you can just skip it, but I will just be done with it. 81 and on the last one, it's 137. Um, I think you know that uh, you can, I guess you can just do it on the primary DNS, but I'm going to do it in both because I'm unaware if it works or not, but I just don't want to give, um, I just don't want to do a fail, so, so be patient now, I'm soon done. 137, I'm done in just a few seconds now. like that and now automatic do not set enable and test connection and now it's checking and I guess and I suppose that um, PlayStation Network checking and it seems like it's going to be succeeded alright so it's succeeding and you're now able to log on to the PlayStation Network I guess I haven't tried it yet I mean I have tried it but uh, you haven't seen it yet. So signing in and please wait. And now the best part's coming. Well it's slow right now. Yeah, account management and I'm online, Bella. Um I'm going all the way up to system update just to show you that it doesn't ask for any system update now that in the latest version of the system software is already installed there is no need to update so well people I hope that you appreciate this video and I hope that you comment if you made it or not I guess it works maybe on custom firmware but that's actually something that you have to try out because I'm using the original firmware and I hope you subscribe please like this video and if you want um, it would be very nice if you could favorite it. And well, bye people and thanks for watching.